Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, congratulations. If you've made it to this point, that means you've got everything modeled. We've modeled the tree, the sign, and the snowman. Uh, and in this video, we're going to set up the scene and the lighting. We're going to set up the camera, we're going to set up all the trees, and we're going to set up the lighting. And so we've got everything done. And so it's just a matter of putting everything in its place, put the lighting in there so that it looks good. If you notice on this particular scene, we've got two lights here, one lighting the scene and a fill light, uh, which is a little bit blue, so that uh, we give a little bit of blue in, into the picture. And then we've got another light over here, lighting up this, just this polygon in the back so we can have a sky. And so if you notice, there's not a lot of trees. There's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 10 trees. And so there's not a lot of trees, even though if I hit zero it, in the frame, it looks like it's full of trees back there, but it's just an illusion. And it looks like we have a sky, but it's just a polygon. And so let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm going to open up the the scene that we were working on. Okay, so this is the scene that we were working on. We've got our tree here. We've got our snowman. Even though the snowman has not been parented, it's a bunch of uh, objects. We're going to do that in a separate video. We're going to parent all the parts so that we can get it ready to animate. And so the only thing that um, we haven't done is parent this sign. We've We left the sign separate from the letters and so we can't parent it yet we can't join it yet because this is still text and this is a polygon object so we got to convert this text into polygon into a mesh so we're going to go to object and we're going to convert to mesh once we convert it to a mesh we select the sign and the text command J to join and then uh, now it's one object so that's cool let's go ahead and place this object mm, a little bit back before we start moving stuff and placing it where we want and all that stuff we gotta set the camera so let's go ahead and add a camera I'm gonna hit, uh, hit shift a to add or you can go to the add menu and let's add a camera so I'm going to move this camera up and I'm going to move this camera forward and then I want to be able to look through that camera. Remember we're going to set this camera up and what I'd like to do is I'd like to make this camera the active camera. Now check this out. See this black arrow here and this one is hollow. That means this is the active camera and I'm going to go to the outliner and select instead of this i'm going to select this green icon here and that makes it the active camera and then when i hit zero it's going to look through this camera that's very convenient to know you can make any camera the active camera just by clicking on this green icon so i can go back and forth through the camera so i'm going to select this camera and I want every time I turn around or every time I move the scene, um, I let the camera go. So I'm going to hit in and then I'm going to go to view and I am going to lock the camera to view. Lock camera to view. And so once I hit zero, every time, see now I don't let that camera go. Now I can set my camera where I need to because it's locked to the view. So if I set my camera more or less at this angle, now I've got my camera. I can let go now. I can have that camera and not move it. So this is my render camera. And so I can go ahead and lock this camera now. I am going to go up here to the outliner and I am going to turn on selectable selectable items and when I do this camera I can click it off so that I don't select it anymore I can't select it if I let go of it I can't select it it's locked so 
This camera is there fixed and it's locked. I have another camera here, which I can actually delete. In fact, I'm gonna delete this light and I'm gonna delete this camera. This is my active camera. And so let's go ahead and start setting up the scene. If I want to go view this camera, I just simply hit zero and I can view for this from this camera so that I can place this wherever I need to way back here. Let's go ahead and um, hit zero. And I wanna make sure that this is at the right angle. So I am going to rotate it a bit right about there. I'm gonna move it up just slightly right there. And then the tree, I'm gonna have it here, except forward a bit, right about there. And then I'm gonna start duplicating this tree. I'm gonna push it up a little bit and then shift D to duplicate. And I'm gonna put this other tree over here somewhere. Uh, I'm just making sure that it's below the ground. And then I'm just gonna duplicate some trees back there. So right now, I kinda don't need to be in the camera. In fact, I'm gonna go to seven, my top view. And I'm just going to duplicate uh, Shift D and make, just put some trees back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll see, we'll see what these trees look like. I'm gonna hit um, zero and that looks pretty good. Now, I've gotta make these a little bit smaller, so scale and then push them up. This one, I'm not too sure exactly where it is. Let's just look. This one, I just need to push it up and then maybe scale it just a little bit. Scale it, push it up. And this one also, push it up, scale it. Push it way up and scale it. Let's see what that looks like, zero. Mm, I like it. Um, I think I'm just gonna move this one over. I think I just wanna move this one over. This one's way behind that one, so over this one, over this one, over. And I'm gonna duplicate this one and maybe move it forward, duplicate this one there. And that's all the trees I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm just want, I just wanna make sure that they are under the ground that they're not floating. And then I'm gonna go to seven and even rotate them this way. This way, this way, that way, this way. We can also rotate them so that they're not completely turning up so we get different angles of the trees so zero mm, i like it i like it i think i'm going to keep it like that uh, the next thing is we're going to put that um, polygon in the background um, as a sky and then we'll add the lights so let's go ahead and get that done uh, that's simple enough we're going to just hit shift a to add mesh polygon plane i'm going to move it way back here i'm going to rotate it in the x in fact i'm going to hit period and i'm going to rotate it r in the x 90. there it is and then i'm going to scale it considerably i'm going to scale it Make it pretty big and then scale it this way. Scale it up, 
go to my camera view zero and I am going to scale it just a little bit more and then I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it this way and I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to rotate it this way. Right about there. And there it is. There's my uh, sky right there. That's all I need. And now, guys, it's it's ready for lighting. Um, for this, we have to be in uh, render mode so that we can see the effects of the lights. Oh, one more thing. I did forget to um, add color to this. So let's go ahead and add a material. Uh, create new. Let's call it sky. And let's paint it uh, blue. If you can pick whatever color. We're going to add a light there to shine on it. So we can make it as dark as we want. For, for now, that's okay. And we'll change it as we go. So let's add a light. Shift A. Let's add a light here. And I like area lights because of their soft shadows. So I'm going to add an area light. I am right now it's pointing down and so I am going to move it forward so that it points towards and I can grab this so that I can point it towards the um, snowman right there. I'm going to scale it. I'm going to rotate it. Just a little bit this way. And then, of course, I'm going to increase the power. I'm going to just go with like 5,000. Mm, maybe a little too much. Mm, let's see. Let's go with 3000. Let's duplicate this light. Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to move it way out here and then turn it around. In fact, let me go to uh, top view. And then I'm just going to swing it this way. Remember, this is the fill light. So let's make it a little blue. And let's crank down the um, intensity to about 2000. I just wanted to fill some of it. Now, if I hit zero, there's my um, my view. I like it so far. Remember that these trees are green and we can always change them to white because they're supposedly filled with um, snow. And then I also did a light back here. In fact, let's uh, duplicate this one. Shift D to duplicate. I'm going to bring it all the way over here. Uh, I am going to move it up and over. I'm going to rotate it. In fact, I could do this. there and then see what that looks like through the camera and I like it see the, that gradient um, I can make it a little bit let's see what happens if I do 5,000 it's a little too bright uh, let's go with 2,000 2,500 I like it uh, the trees, I'm going to change them. I'm just going to make an executive decision and change them to white. Luckily, luckily we have the uh, color here. And if I just change it, it's going to change all of them. So we could just change them to white. Boom, like that. 
And so uh, the scene is mostly set. The scene is mostly set. The only thing I need to do here, I think the scene is a little too bright. So let's uh, make this 2000. And the fill light, let's make it uh, say 1000. See what that looks like. Mm, maybe 2000 also. I think, well, I think I'll leave it at 2000. The sky might be a little too bright. Uh, so I'm gonna select the sky and in the base color, I'm gonna just make it a little uh, darker blue. There we go. There we go, I like it. So the only thing we have to do now is to turn on depth of field. So we're gonna go to the camera properties and turn on depth of field right here. And let's do an f-stop of a little bit, maybe 0.3, I like that, see? It is blurry back there and that's kinda cool. Um, let's go ahead, go back to the scene settings. Let's turn on the ambient occlusion and let's check the depth of field. Everything seems fine. And the viewport um, sampling, let's turn it up to, uh, just make it a little bit, let's crank it up to 64. So it's very, very smooth. And that's basically it. All we have to do now is render it. And that's pretty cool. Um, hey guys, on the next video, we are going to rig this character. We're going to parent everything so that we can make its arms move. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make him blink and we're gonna animate this character. So in the next video, we'll rig the character and we'll animate the character. Hey guys, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.